Hi, it's Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. And have you ever had a, somebody uh, maybe is doing some modeling for you and they send you your models back and you go, oh my gosh, they didn't use any of our parameters. And if to enter your own parameters one by one in the editor, you know, it can take a little bit of time. So I'm going to show you a trick by using the relations editor and the model tree to quickly create and edit parameters. So first of all, let's go to this assembly. It's got three parts. Pretty simple. Let's go to the parameters tool just to show you. Man, there's nothing there. So what I've done is I've created a text file, parameters.txt. I've just entered in the syntax of relationships the parameters I want to add. For example, part number equals to be determined in quotes. And I've got a description, material, a couple of vendor parameters and revision as well. So what I do is go to and I paste that text in. Once I say having those relations actually creates all those parameters. Now you'll notice I can't change those right now. They're locked. The relationship in relations is driving those. So all I've got to do once I've created them is clear that out. So I'm editing the relations, taking out the ones I just did. Now when I go to parameters, I have full access. I can change those to whatever I want. So let's do that for the other three parts in the system. This assembly will activate those. Do the same thing. And here we already have some relations, so we'll just paste this in at the end. Go back, and I won't even show you that they've been created. We'll get rid of those. and we'll activate the next model and keep doing this. Doesn't take too terribly long. Certainly easier than doing it by hand. You could even write a map key to do this as well if you have a bunch of them. And the last model. Okay, so we've created all these parameters, and, and gee, how do we edit them all? I've got all these nice parameters with all those default values in there. Is there some quick and easy way I can do this? Funny you should ask. Let's go to the model tree, and let's go to our tree column settings. Now, you can add all kinds of things to be displayed in the model tree. Most people are not aware of anything beyond the default ones listed under info. But by going to that info pull-down, I can go to model parameters and there are those parameters I just created. So I can add those all to my display. And I'll move that model off to the right. I'll expand the model tree here. Now you can see there are all the parameters for all the models. Just like Excel, I can double click on these fields to the gap to expand them to what they need to be. So all I've got to do now is change them all in one place. And we'll just make up some part numbers here. Let's say we had a five-digit scheme. And for each of these, I could enter a description. And like all engineers, I can't spell. Sorry about that. And I can really just use the model tree as a text editor. And it's important to have something in the field so we can grab it, edit those. Maybe that's at Rev A. Maybe the rest of these are at Rev B, let's say. Maybe the assembly and piston, we make those ourselves so that they don't have a vendor number. So maybe the vendor for this rubber parts is Goodyear. We'll just enter that in. And we'll put some sort of a vendor part number on these. Now what I've done by using this 
model tree technique is I've actually been able to edit these all in one place. So you see the names for these. Let's open up this part by itself. You can see, if we go to the parameter editor, there are those parameters. They've all still, they're still there. We created those. And we actually have the numbers we just typed in. So this is kind of a quick way to, again, bulk create some parameters and being able to edit them all in one place quickly and easily. If you have a question on, or comment on this, go ahead and contact me or any of the good folks at EAC. Or if you'd like, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section right under this video. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.